chemistry is off the charts. Doris should be quite a battle tonight. Two terrific front courts. What do you expect to see? Well, I'm really curious to see the level of physicality on the interior in the painted area, each side trying to impose its will upon the other. Who does the better job invading the space and contesting shots? Just don't invade my space over here, Mr. Harlan. Keep to your I'm side of gonna. the table, will you? I wouldn't think of it. I would not think of it. <laughs> now Golden State's starting five. It's the Splash Brothers, Curry and Clay in the backcourt. Inside, we've got Draymond at the four and Pachulia to his side. And it's Durant in at the three slot. It's stolen by Green. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Curry. James with it, the screen from Thompson. James kicks to Thompson, feeds it to Thomas. Smith outside, and the three off target. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Curry dishes to Durant. Over in the corner, Green. And a pig pounds off the rim, but it sinks right in. Green's got the first points up on the board for the Warriors. Screen by Smith. LeBron kicks to Thomas. Floats it up for James. It doesn't go for him. Yeah, that's just a missed opportunity. Something there just a little off. Yeah, simply a little bit careless, I think. Can't just throw it up there. You have to time these alley-oops perfectly. Boy, still not quite the rhythm. Just one for four. Thomas passes to James. Screen by Smith. Stolen by Thompson. Now the Warriors moving it up. Here's Durant outside Curry. This one for three. That's good. And a nice assist from Durant. Curry's got himself on the board with three there. We've learned that Steph Curry will not be impeded by a hand in his face. The focus is incredible. Here's LeBron. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. It's on Kevin Durant. And Doris, we've seen the offensive game of LeBron James evolve over the years, adding a post game, improving his three-pointer. Well, I think, Kevin, like all the greats, the work habits and willingness to add dimensions to his game have always been there. We understand passing and playmaking have been the constants of his career, but now he understands he's got to vary the way his points and his productivity come. And he makes the first. Guys, how lucky are we that we watch LeBron James steadily climb the all-time scoring ranks, right? This guy, last season, he passes the great Moses Malone and Shaquille O'Neal. Truly incredible. Both shots good from a strike. And LeBron Doris presently in the top seven in career scoring. Do you think he can ever reach number one? Kevin, if this guy set out to be the leading scorer in NBA history, he has the physical abilities to do that. But this is a guy who wants to be defined as maybe the most complete player to ever play. He contributes with his scoring, with his passing, with his defense. He is one of the all-time greats. the Cavs offense right it's all about drive and kick they put the ball into the hands of LeBron and space the floor with that shooting it's a sort of pick your poison situation down low love that's to Smith Cleveland moving the ball around the Cavaliers again can't hit Warriors have gone 50% from the field hitting three of six since the openings hit wasted no time on that one 
And the Cavs last season first in the league in catch-and-shoot three-pointers made. Right, number one, Kevin, in corner threes, and that was by a big margin. They put the ball in the hands of their stars and then position shooters around those two. Thomas, no good. Man, they had high hopes for a fast start. They get out of the gates 0 for 4. And Curry has it in the corner. Takes the three. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. And that's now six points for Steph Curry. Well, his touch from beyond the arc is unparalleled. It is safe to say Steph Curry will go down as one of the greatest shooters in NBA history. James. The screen from Thompson. Here's Love. And the rejection by Curry. Well, stepping up his game on the defensive end, Steph Curry reads the play and sends it back. Warriors leading by eight. To the paint and stolen by Love. Thomas kicks to James and finished off by LeBron. That's a vicious assault on the rim by LeBron. Incredibly accomplished dunker who's still got plenty of bounce in his step. And the replay presented by Under Armour. Unleash chaos, giving us the chance to enjoy that alley-oop all over again. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. Thomas kicks to Smith to the inside. Stolen by Thompson. Outside, Green. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. How good is Green at drawing solid contact? He plays with a ton of heart. He's really good at making the defense commit. And guys, it is so rare to see a player like Draymond Green who can legitimately guard one through five, right? This guy moves so well, anticipates every play on the floor. He is just so disruptive and can shut down a player on any given night. Free throw drops for Green. And you think, Doris, about the impact of Draymond Green and he has had on that defensive end, again, Defensive Player of the Year last season in the NBA. Beyond the triple doubles without any points, he can just erase chances in crunch time. I would say he is about the last guy you want to go at when the game is hanging in the balance because his defense raises its level when the game is going to be determined. I think he might have another player of the year on the defensive end in his tool belt before it's all said and done. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. Yeah, it looked like they tried to shoot their way out of the slump and that didn't work. They, they got to go back and regroup. Yeah, maybe a new approach because what they're doing is not working. You're going to have to alter some things on the offensive end. Yeah, just hitting a reset button, a chance to kind of talk some things over. I think sometimes that's all it takes, right? We'll see if it helps them moving forward in this one. Checked in for Draymond Green. James dishes to Crowder. Back to LeBron. Crowder is screen on Iguodala. It's stolen by West. Durant kicks to Iguodala. That shot, no good. So Cleveland will take it the other way. LeBron outside. And it's sent back by West. Thompson in the corner. Out of bounds. Cleveland takes possession. Rose, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. John Livingston, he's checked in for the Warriors. The Cavaliers trail by 10. Outside Thomas. Now the feed to Thompson. Another shot, 
and he sinks the layup. Well, that's a prime example of why Tristan Thompson is considered one of the best offensive rebounders in the game right now. Thomas against Kerr. Over Thomas. And again, no good by Golden State. Cleveland's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Crowder. Second chance shot. And boy, that looked like goaltending. Yes, it is. And so they will award the basket there. Just barely too late and, and catches it on the way down. He's already in the air there, committed, so can't fault him for going for the block. Young's checked in for Durant. Warriors leading by six. Outside Curry. Kicks it to West. Stolen by Thompson. With one on the clock. And there's Rose on the assist by Corver. Rose has got his second basket of the game. Boy, Kev, how about the recognition of Kyle Corver? Puts the pass on time and on target. Makes it an easy opportunity for his teammate. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first quarter. Warriors lead by four. And we'll be back right after this. And we got a chance to hear from LeBron James about the hard work and preparation he brings into every game. Go back and I'm able to, um, you know, read the scout report, you know, and, and also when I get to the arena, I also watch more film on, on each and every guy that's going to be playing. Um, guys that I know I may be, um, you know, matched up against, you know, throughout the night. So um, I'm not surprised by anything if it happens throughout the game. So um, it's a lot of preparation that goes in, you know, to just one game, just trying to get one win, but that's what it takes to then get. I think you'd have to say the preparation really shows on the court in his play, and rarely does he look surprised out there or caught off guard. And, and Kevin, that's really just the mark of a total pro, and, and I don't think oftentimes the fans appreciate how much goes in in terms of preparation. Some guys get it, and some guys don't, but, but he's a perfect example of what proper preparation means in terms of preventing a poor performance. Now the second quarter getting ready to start up. And from what we've seen so far from the Warriors, how would you rate it? I mean, an interesting first quarter. The pressure D seems to be causing a lot of turnover. It feels like they're getting a lot of deflections, hands on basketballs, resulting into steals. This has been pretty to watch. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, Derek Rose is out there with Kyle Korver. Then there's Amon Shumpert. Then there's Tristan Thompson. And it's Crowder in at the power forward position. Free throw drops for Rose. Doris, what an honor. Inducted into your college's Hall of Fame. Something not many of us can say. What does that kind of uh, honor do for the confidence for you personally going forward? You know what? Providence College is a place that means a great deal to me. So what that Hall of Fame induction did was just remind me of all the special memories that I shared with my teammates. I'm close with many of them today. And Kevin, you know this. You know, if you've ever been inside a locker room, it's those moments when you're laughing until your stomach hurts. I'd say we were the Hall of Fame fun team. That's what I'd say. <laughs> I think we're on the fun team here on 2K. <laughs> Another one. Man, he's just gotten into a great rhythm out there. You're just assuming at this point every shot he takes, it's going to go in. What a shooting performance. On the wing, Shumper. Outside, Crowder. Shot clock at six. The screen from Thompson. Off the screen. And it's Iguodala with the rebound. Warriors leading by eight. On its way from Young for two. Crowder pulls it in. Boy, I'll tell you, he has plenty of space, but it looked like a little bit of a hitch in that release. And so the ball's out of bounds. Shumper touched it last. And the Cavaliers with some changes. Love checked in for Thompson. And Smith subbed in for Kyle Corvin. Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. Patrick McCaw comes in for Sean Livingston. The Warriors have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Guys, the league may have never seen a player with more control on and off the court than LeBron James. 
He is a superstar, a playmaker, a coach on the floor. Some say he's the GM. And he even has a stake in a player agent business. LeBron says it's his dream to one day own an NBA team. Well, he's certainly getting some practice. Kevin? No question about it, David. He's well on his way. As important a player as we've ever seen in basketball. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five mates are from beyond the up. Well, Kevin, no one's ever questioned his court vision. Rose playing unselfish basketball, being the leader this team needs him to be. Well, I'll tell you, for a long time, the reputation of J.R. Smith, not ideal. But, uh, you know, a little bit of poor decision-making, unfocused defensively. He's really matured. He's gotten better on and off the court. LeBron's checked in for Shumpert. The Warriors also with a sub. Thompson's checked in. McCaw kicks to Iguodala. Curry on the wing. That one falls. Coming off Iguodala's feed. 17 points for Steph Curry. And J.R. Smith, a natural offensive. But Doris's defense has come a long way, too. Amazing what winning titles can do. You start to appreciate what it takes to be successful. And you go back to his offense, though. A very good three-point shooter, even under great defensive pressure. Good on the shot. Boy, Kev, off to the races for Steph Curry, and he's not looking back. This is a guy playing with a chip on his shoulder. Timeout called the Cavaliers. One guy who's been getting it done so far, Stephen Curry. Just killing it from deep. They, they've got to be all up in his jersey at all times. Give him even an inch, and you're just asking for him to drop another triple on you. You think of Clay Thompson, and you think of his great shooting ability. But Doris, he is just as impactful on the other side of the ball. But to me, Kevin, he is one of the elite two-way players in the game because though he doesn't get a ton of steals or blocks, when it comes to guarding the James Hardens or the Russell Westbrooks, Clay always draws that assignment and does an incredible job. change here. Thomas has checked in. The Warriors also with a sub. Durant's checked in for McCall. The Cavaliers trail by 11. Outside Thomas. LeBron James on the wing. Over Iguodala. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And it goes on Draymond Green. LeBron has made himself a deadly shooter. You can't fault the D for being a little too aggressive on his shot fakes. This is his second trip to the free throw line. You know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot below 70% last season. Shooting two. Free throw good, James. Of course, you've been a color analyst for both men's basketball, women's basketball. Stylistically, what's the difference, in your opinion, between the two, if anything? Well, I think there are a number of differences. The primary one being athleticism is slowly starting to take shape and more and more dictate the outcome of success in women's basketball. Whereas athleticism has always been a part of dictating the outcome of games. The above the rim aspect of the NBA versus for the most part the below the rim aspect of the WNBA. That would be the primary difference for me. But the fundamentals too sometimes stand out. The women's game, I think really you can see fundamentals so strongly. You can, Kevin, and I think what, what helped the women's game tremendously was, especially in the WNBA, you had NBA coaches transition to roles in the WNBA, the Bill Lambeers, the Mike Tebow. So they taught that group how to be pros, how to win on that level. Excellent point. Warriors leading by 11. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. 
inside. Here's Thomas. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Thomas got his first two points. They are just killing him on the interior. Pachulia the pass to Curry. Off target from three-point range. For Cleveland, they've gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Outer dishes to Thomas. Smith outside. Passes it to Crowder. Shot clock at five. Here's Thomas. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. And their shots are falling now with more regularity than we saw at first. Down low. Here's Thompson. Smith with the defensive effort. The only way he doesn't finish is if the defense gets in his face. Nice job. Out of bounds. Golden State takes possession. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. Corver comes in for J.R. Smith. And then for Golden State, David West, he's checked in for Green. And it's Livingston in for Steph Curry. 29 seconds left to play here in the half. Livingston kicks to Thompson. He feeds it to West. Over Love. And David West, the bucket on the assist by Thompson. Thompson's got three assists in the game. Here is Thomas. Takes a three. Another three for Cleveland. Isaiah Thomas, his best attribute is his speed and his ability to mix those speeds to get defenders off balance. That'll do it for the first half. The Warriors on top. They lead by six. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Alongside Steve Kerr and Coach, what is the offensive approach going to be in the second half? Well, we just have to do what we do, move the ball um, and wear them down with our ball movement, our cutting, and our spacing, and set better screens, all the, all the usual stuff. Yeah, it always seems to work out for you in the long run. Thanks, Steve. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. This big mountain of a man is Shaquille O'Neal, and this hill of a man is Kenny the Jet Smith. The first half was all about Stephen Curry. He had 21 points, two assists, and one block. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? Well, their ball movement was phenomenal. Now, they're in good position to win this game, in large in part because of those assists. And this is the thing, Ernie. When you win as a team, you feel better about everything that happens. Looking at Cleveland, Shaq, your thoughts. Well, one thing happened that really helped them out. Their bench came in and played absolutely beautiful. Gave them a huge boost. Not just trying to hold court, but actually putting points on the scoreboard. This guy should be starting, Ernie. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. As we return to look at the corner of Euclid and East 6th in downtown Cleveland, just a few blocks from our spot here at Quicken Loans Arena. And it's been a back-and-forth game so far with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter starting here now. Really an incredible game from Stephen Curry. Yeah, so far they haven't found an answer for him. A, a scoring machine here in that first half. And it's mattered not, Greg, whether he's been spotting up or creating for himself. He was unstoppable, and you hope it carries over to the second half. Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out away here in the third. Warriors leading by six. And how about last season Steve Kerr becoming the fastest coach in NBA history to reach the 200-win plateau? This guy has had nothing but success in his first run and already considered one of the elite coaches in the league. And on the floor for Steve Kerr as we get into the second half, Durant and Draymond Green talented forward duo. The sharpshooters Curry and Thompson are at the one and the two. And it's Pachulia in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. 
And Doris, for Kerr to get win number 200, the team only needed 238 games played. For those wondering, that is an insane 84% winning percentage. Wow. wow. Yeah, Kev, you look at all the coaches in any sport, and none of them comes close to that What's career that, winning percentage. And for all his success, the guy remains humble and does nothing but give credit to the players. This guy deserves recognition for an incredible record. The Cavaliers trail by nine. Thomas kicks to Love. Thomas against Curry. Let's it fly. And Cleveland again with the bucket. This guy's pulling his weight tonight. The guys around him need to pick up the slack and start following his lead. Green the screen. Durant for three. Warriors the rebound. Pachulia, no luck. LeBron passes to Love. Oh, went in there and tried to power it down. But Drew Konjak, he'll head to the line. You know, it's interesting. Kevin Love almost two different players, right, guys? I mean, a bruising offensive rebounder who can battle inside, but also a skilled perimeter shooter. That's a rare combination. That free throw, good from Kevin Love. And the three-point shot is a growing part of Kevin Love's game. Well, I think it's certainly something he's added since coming to the NBA. From barely shooting any early on in his career where he was a flat back-to-the-basket scorer, now three-pointers account for almost half of his field goal attempts. Both free throws, good from Love. I tell you, as good as he is at the line, it allows him to invite contact when he's down low. Down low, it's taken away by Smith. Thomas dishes to Thompson. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. Uh, Thompson knows he needs to keep working on that free throw shot. It definitely needs improvement. And Tristan Thompson in the middle of player Greg, who understands his role. He just plays hard and does the little things. Defense, rebounding, energy. When he's blocking shots and protecting the rim, he is one of the best bigs in our league. He's off on the first. Well, obviously, I think when you watch the Golden State Warriors, when their pieces are clicking and humming all at the same time, it seems to me, guys, they're unbeatable. No good at the stripe this time. Second misses also. Well, to illustrate your point with the Warriors, doors, they were 60-0 last season when they had hit 10 threes in a game. Only if their shooters go extremely cold do they let games slip away. This is correct, Kev, and that's exactly what you expect from great teams. There is so much firepower on their team that unless they struggle to shoot the basketball, you're going to have a hard time beating them. Thompson against Pachulia. For three, Durant. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got three assists in the game. Now, here's Thomas. He's got 12. Here's James, and finished off by LeBron. And the elevation and athleticism of LeBron and his size, just incredible. Pachulia with the screen on Thomas. To the middle. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Well, you wouldn't think about it with the position he plays, but, you know, Doris Pachulia is an underrated playmaker, very knowledgeable about how to space the floor and also can drop a perfect pass to a cutter if you let him. Well, he's the near-perfect teammate because he always understands the role that you want him to play. High IQ, he sees the floor, and he's very unselfish, Kev. He I'm likes to make that shots. extra pass. Roof shot.
That free throw, no good. There was so much talk about offense. How do you slow some of these guys down defensively? I mean, one way is to draw charges, but in thinking of that, who do you think is the best at doing that these days? You know, Kevin, it can be a lost art in the game of basketball on any number of levels. You have to be willing to absorb contact, and sometimes from guys much bigger than yourself. So some of the names that come to mind for me, Marcus Smart with the Boston Celtics, Kemba Walker, always the smallest guy on the floor, is never afraid to give up his body. From the big guys, I'd probably say Maurice Spates or DeMarcus Cousins. Both are willing to see that contact and uh, try to gain an advantage going the other direction. Yeah, they know they're going to take a hit, and they willingly take the hit for the bet betterment of the team. Right. Deflects the pass, but Julia with the steal. Here's Young, and he lays it up and in. And now it's an eight-point Warrior lead. Boy, a sliver of room. That's all he needed to get to the bucket. Nice, aggressive move, slipping and sliding his way through. Thompson in the post. Goes up against Pachulia. That shot, no good. Curry with it. Picked up by Thompson. There's the pass to Iguodala. Back to Curry. McCaw kicks to Pachulia. The shot comes out. Good D by Thompson. Pass to Shumpert. Cleveland moving the ball around. It's good. Eight points for Rose. Well, absolutely fearless. I and mean, this is one thing you can say about Derrick Rose. He's never had trouble converting in the painted area. Curry against Thomas. Curry's shot is off. Not the kind of strong finish it should have been. Something threw him off. Thomas passes to Rose. Here's Thompson. And the layup's good off the glass. And now it's just a four-point Warrior lead. Yeah, Thompson just so focused. Even with the defense in his face, he still has the poise to be able to knock down shots. But Julia, good. And, and not everyone can shoot this well at his size. Yeah, there's no question about it. Guys with size don't necessarily translate into great shooters, but boy, does he show great confidence knocking that down. And the wide open shot from Rose. But they recover it. It's Crowder on the wing. Dishes it to Thomas. And Shumpert kicks to Crowder. It's deflected. Well, incredible work on defense from Zaza Pachulia. Great positioning so he can reject it. Young from outside. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Young. Kyle Corvett, who's checked in for the Cavaliers. Then for the Warriors, West comes in for Zaza Pachulia. And it's Livingston in for Curry. The Cavaliers trail by six. Rose kicks to Thompson. Shot and game clock separated by five. Outside Corver. And Thompson gets it to go in on the assist by Corver. Six points for Tristan Thompson. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Pick by West. With one on the clock. No good. The points coming in bunches as we wrap up the third quarter. It's been a good one. Warriors lead by four. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Quicken Loans Arena. Now let's listen in to head coach Steve Kerr. Right now is when we go, good shot, great shot, right? Right now is when we talk on every screen down here and switch and, and ice and all the stuff we do on point. And Steve Kerr, this is what his teams do. They take away a lot of easy shots, easy baskets. Yeah, you, you heard it. Ice the screens, communicate. Give me everything you've got defensively. All right, we welcome you back to what's been a hard-fought battle. Fourth quarter should be good. At the four, it's LeBron with Love at the Five. A lethal front-court pair. J.R. Smith out there with Rose. And it's Corver in its small forward. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Barry's the long-range jumper. I'll tell you, don't let Kevin Durant start to percolate from outside that arc because you're going to be in for a tough night. 
Rose kicks to James. And the dunk by James. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with the pass. There's the pick. Al Livingston. There's the dish to Durant. Down low and stolen by James. Right side, Corver tries it from 19, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. And here's Livingston. Outside Durant from outside the arc. That drops, and it comes off the assist from Livingston. Livingston's got three assists now in this one. History is off the charts. Doris should be quite a battle tonight. Two terrific front courts. What do you expect to see? Well, I'm really curious to see the level of physicality on the interior in the painted area, each side trying to impose its will upon the other. Who does the better job invading the space and contesting shots? Just don't invade my space over here, Mr. Harlan. Keep to your I'm side of gonna. the table, will you? I wouldn't think of it. I would not think of it. <laughs> now Golden State's starting five. It's the Splash Brothers, Curry and Clay in the backcourt. Inside, we've got Draymond at the four and Pachulia to his side. And it's Durant in at the three slot. It's stolen by Green. And it's out of bounds. Nice touch by Curry. Mystery is off the mystery is off the charts. Doris should be quite a battle tonight. Two terrific front courts. What do you expect to see? Well, I'm really curious to see the level of physicality on the interior in the painted area, each side trying to impose its will upon the other. Who does the better job invading the space and contesting shots? Just don't invade my space over here, Mr. Harlan. Keep to your I'm side of gonna. the table, will you? I wouldn't think of it. I would not think of it. <laughs> now Golden State's starting five. It's the Splash Brothers, Curry and Clay in the backcourt. Inside, we've got Draymond at the four and Pachulia to his side. And it's Durant in at the three slot. It's stolen by Green. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Curry. James with it, the screen from Thompson. James kicks to Thompson, feeds it to Thomas. Smith outside, and the three off target. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Curry dishes to Durant. Over in the corner, Green. And a big pounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. Green's got the first points up on the board for the Warriors. Screen by Smith. LeBron kicks to Thomas. Floats it up for James. It doesn't go for him. Yeah, that's just a missed opportunity. Something there just a little off. Yeah, something a little bit careless, I think. Can't just throw it up there. You have to time these alley-oops perfectly. Boy, still not quite the rhythm. Just one for four. Thomas passes to James. Screen by Smith. Stolen by Thompson. Now the Warriors moving it up. Here's Durant outside Curry. This one for three. That's good. And a nice assist from Durant. Curry's got himself on the board with three there. We've learned that Steph Curry will not be impeded by a hand in his face. The focus is incredible. Here's LeBron. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to ten. Do your job, and I promise you, we'll win this game. Back to you. Thanks so much, David. Golden State's gotten off to a great start from three-point range in the final quarter. They're a perfect three of three. It's deflected. Out of bounds, Cleveland takes possession. And, and what a time to get sloppy. A, a close game like this, you cannot be getting loose with the ball. And there's a minute 45 left to play here in the fourth. Here's Smith. Outside Thomas to take the lead. 
The Warriors pull it in. Pachulia's got six rebounds here tonight. Thompson in a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Well, think about Blake Thompson. He's basketball royalty. His dad, of course, Michael, the number one overall pick in 1978. He was a great player, an NBA champion, incredible lineage. the first one and that will put them up by two. the second one and really if not for the miss they'd be sitting in a much better position they came close there to tying it up oh he had it in his sights he wanted it that bucket would have been huge draymond green never backs away in big possessions in fact you get the sense this guy loves the spotlight it's stolen by curry and here's the fast break durant leading the way all oh, the officials are all over that on the first and that puts them up by five well Kevin Durant one of the more efficient players that we have ever seen this guy is a juggernaut by himself on the offensive end he can score from virtually any spot on the court and he hits both free throws here so now it's a six point ball game Never a doubt on those free throws, and their lead is even more secure. And definitely playing the opponent, but also they're playing against the clock. No, you're absolutely right. It's not impossible to catch up, but it is a tall order right now. The Cavaliers again can't hit. Whistle on the play. Bucket's good. He'll go to the line. How about the body control? Goodness gracious, takes the punishment and makes the shot anyway. One shot. That free throw good from Durant. Timeout called the Cavaliers. They trail by nine. There's 49 seconds left to play in the final quarter.
That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Well, J.R. Smith can just be deadly coming off a screen like that, guys. Thompson outside. They set the pick. Shoots from 12. That shot is off. Great D that time from James. And whatever play they run has to be quick. No time to waste. They have to score fast and then foul quickly. And now they decide to foul intentionally. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. Two shots. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And so he drops them both. It's an eight-point game. Timeout called the Cavaliers. They're behind by eight. 23 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Twenty-three seconds left in the fourth quarter. Outside Crowder fires for three. It falls. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Kevin, these are the moments where Crowder has earned the trust and equity with his teammates. That's a big-time delivery. Shooting for Livingston. Sean Livingston. Two shots. Shooting two. So the first one drops, and that increases their lead to six. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a seven-point game. This one just all but in the books. Yeah, too many points, not enough time. Nice timing to get up on that shot. Boy, you can't ask for better defense, Greg. Excellent work getting right into the grill of the shooter. So we see the Warriors get the win here. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Z, you guys were playing a team that really gave you a great effort, but you were able to overcome that and get the win. Well, we expected this kind of game from them, but, you know, we got to, we got to do our thing, you know, what, what we're doing. Um, play our game. We have to bring the energy. That's, that's the uh, most important thing right now. Zaza, thanks for your time, man. Congrats. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. 
For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long. Carrying at the buzzer, looking in the crowd.